The big one, um, I have other plans. Mm. It'll be hydrogen electric. Really? That's where the whole industry is going to go. The whole world will go there. It'll be hydrogen electric. Mark my words. That is actually very interesting. Yeah, it'll be hydrogen, and the best system will be you will put water in, on board the aircraft. I've and done crack some. It. Yes, I'm, I can make bubbles as big as my thumb in this reactor that I built. And so I'm already looking at the energy source is the problem. Tesla's new batteries they're going to produce would be a good buffer, but to want the best concentration of energy is going to be pure water on board, the safest way to fly, versus I mean, liquid hydrogen. Yeah. And we already know the drones are flying for five hours on a tank of liquid hydrogen. That's an amazing feat. You just... I mean, wa water is two very highly combustible gases, oxygen and hydrogen. Yep. So you just got to split them up and burn them. You got to do it efficiently. Yeah. And there is a system that's very efficient. I mean, that's how Apollo went to the moon and back on hydrogen fuel cell. So the new fuel cells, yeah, I believe, is going to be the, the safest thing for aviation. And the exhaust, is it, it's water. Right. There's nothing. It's clean. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's interesting. A lot going on in the future of uh, yeah, the design we, of we, we, When I designed the machine, I looked at it from the standpoint of being electric. So we can put different engines on this platform. So this airframe really gives me a, a lot of room to do lots of things. We even shock mounted the firewall. See, that's in urethane right there. Uh, so the mask can wiggle and give a little bit to help it fly smoother. Uh, things last longer. I found that by urethane mounting parts of the aircraft on an impact, it doesn't come apart. It gives it that stroke and that time to keep the airframe together. Because it's not if the engine quits or your power quits, it's when. And then if you have to put it down somewhere because you're flying this thing low and slow, and you're putting yourself in danger, the aircraft should be able to absorb an impact and protect you. And that's what we designed into the whole airframe, the whole aircraft, is everywhere is of a stroking zone or a crumple zone somewhere in the aircraft. So can you tell us about the, the seats that you recently tested and the Gs that they can explain? Yeah, yeah. The, it, it was uh, in 09, but we were at MGA Labs, and uh, we were absorbing 300 G. Two hits at 300. And uh, you see how fast the lab technicians grabbed the phone to the general. It was pretty cool. And then we took those guys out to dinner to find all the secrets with what's going on. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. So this is a, an M912. Jim, go over some of the details that make this what it is and why it's so popular. Okay. 